Hello everyone. This is a follow up to my eye test video, which I did quite a long time ago. I think it was 2022. Um, I've had some people have similar problems to me. Um, when you run eye test, you can sometimes get an error with module not found where it's not actually finding your Python file from another directory. So let's look at the folder structure. So I've got app, I've got tests. So within tests, there's the I test code. And with an app, we've got fetch w, which is just going off to do a request to mockaroo.com. So same as the older video, the previous video, I've just retyped it. It's on GitHub now as well, if you own it. So what's the actual problem? The problem is when you use the test tube, I think it's test tube, the testing icon. By the way, if you haven't got that, you may need to add it. But the way to make it appear, it's not on your activity bar. Uh, control shift P. And then that may not be at the top. That's at the top on my machine because I've recently used it. But if it's not, then you just type in, I think you can type in PyTest. Yeah, and it brings it up there, Python Configure Tests. You've got a choice of unit test or pie test. Uh, I don't know if pie test will appear there if you've not installed pie test. It would make sense that it's not to install pie test. Um, so just a side note, you can see there we've got unit test dot mark. Uh, ignore that from this from what we're doing here. Here we're interested in pie test. So I'm going to click on the second option, which is pie test. Once I do that, I get this choice, which is root directory, tests, or app. Now, select the directory containing the tests. Okay, so I've sometimes I've tried root directory, and sometimes I've tried tests. Let's do tests. Okay, and I've already run it once previously so let's just run it again and just just check that it's happy with checking the file paths so the problems we've me and some other subscribers have been having is sometimes you'll get an error with module not found where it's not finding the app file so let me just open that as well you've got fetch www and we've got so these are the two files we're interested in so that's our code, that's our test code. So that's found it. And one other way to run this, let me just zoom in a bit, make it slightly bigger for me. One other way to run this is uh, control terminal. And you can do Python, and then your version of Python. I'm using 3.10 still because I'm a bad person. Um, dash M for module which makes it do module kind of stuff. I forget the exact phrase that I should use there, but um, you see it, it, it runs fine. No, I've actually got, um, I must have started this off with my end. So it's running in a virtual environment as well. I'd recommend a virtual environment because otherwise you do get all these issues with, if, especially if you've got multiple versions of Python, like 3.9, 3.10, 3.11, 3.12 and so on. Okay, so that's run. That's worked. Um, this has worked. So everything's worked. Fine. Um, but having said that, you do get these issues with path not found. And when I uploaded this to GitHub, the GitHub workflow action gave me the module the app module not found. um just one other tip while we're talking about this um say for instance um i was having issues with getting the right path in what you can do uh, apologies if you already know this but just hold down shift and drag sorry drag that hold down shift um then release the select so that's, that's put in the forward slash. And I think if I run that, will that work? I'm on Linux, by the way. Yeah, so that's failed. I was expecting that to fail. 
So what I do is I drag it across and that kind of gives, gives me the, it gives me the file name and gives me the upper directory that I would need to traverse to. And then you just replace the forward slash with a dot if you're on Linux. I don't know about Windows. It's been a long time since I've used Windows. Um, maybe someone can advise about what happens on Windows. There you go. It finds it. It's, uh, no, it doesn't find it. What's going on here? <laughs> That's what I had before. So... That's quite strange. Let's just run it again. And it worked. No, it doesn't work. Okay. This is quite, uh, quite bizarre. So app dot fetch underscore WD. Let's just do. Ah, I know what it did. When I dragged it, it put on the dot PY on the end. So don't do that. <laughs> Right, rewind. So this will work. Yeah, okay. So just to um, recap on what I did, what I, if, if it helps, you can drag this across, drop it in there, and then just, just, just remove the .py, so that's step one, and then just get rid of the forward slash and put in a dot. And then it works. So yeah, that was my bad. And there we go, finished tests, test 100%. So what we've covered is we've covered how to kind of assist or how to modify the path or collect the path using drag and drop and then modify it to suit. So this is Linux. I think it would be the same on Mac, which is Unix basically in that. And yeah, I've also shown how to do, uh, yeah, just do control shift P, just type in PyTest. If you haven't got it, then obviously you need to install it, pip install. Then just do that, press enter, down to PyTest, enter. And then I selected tests. And on this machine, it works and you get these nice green ticks. Um, ignore those, that's historical. So yeah, there we go, test. Let's run at, what's the time now? 10.14, so yeah, 10.13. You can just you can run the tests individually if you don't want to run all of them. If you had several tests, just run the particular one you're interested in. Because obviously, as this builds up, you could get lots and lots of tests, which could take a long time. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. I potentially it doesn't solve everyone's problems, but um, just one last thing: if you want to do check your version of Python, you can do. If you know that you're using particular so if you do python i can see that i'm using 3.10 and then if i do which python 3.10 it then tells me that i'm running it in a virtual environment in so you can tell here that that's not kind of uh it's not user forward slash bin or anything it's it's a it's a long file path that i've actually created and it matches what i've got here so if you use um oh my ssh no what's it p10 p10 you can get these you can get this nice looking feel um right that's the that's how to get the python path and then you can also do which i test and it's also you can see the path for that um, once you start editing or, or having to update your path, it just, uh, I just don't know if it's a good thing to be doing. I don't think it should be necessary to have to start modifying the path, really. I don't recall ever having done it on here. But as I say, you do get these errors, these these errors, especially the one on, um, on GitHub. So, yeah, Python... Minus test. So to be honest with you, I actually, I know these ticks are nice and they, they're quite satisfying to watch, but um, yeah, I, I think if you, 
if you're used to using Vim or near Vim, whatever, then it's just as quick to do the up, just press the up arrow and do that, and press enter. It's almost quicker to do that than to move your mouse over here and then make sure you click on the right button. And, and to be honest, I find the output nicer in from the terminal. You get the nice, nice green color, but that's just me. Anyway, I hope this is kind of, I don't know, helps. Well, I'm confused to be honest, but yeah, the code's on GitHub. I'll put the link in the video description and yeah, any more ideas or suggestions or problems, just add in the comments. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.